Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, July 31st, 2021. Week 139. Week 139. That's right. Ah, this one's going to be short and sweet. I have an opening shift this morning. Um, so we are up early and getting you going. Yeah. Been a rough night. I had my cortisone shot yesterday. It's that time of the month. Which um, will help you eventually. <laughs> it will. It was a rough night. I did not sleep well. Um, my shoulder, I iced it almost. I'll week. verify that. She didn't sleep well at all. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, um, I'll start with my weight this week. Okay, you ladies go first. I'm just frustrated anyway, so, well, you know, what I don't know what to frustrated. do with myself. <laughs> it's a long haul. It is. Uh, so, last week I weighed in at 149. This morning I weighed in at 150. And that's not horrible. It's Shark Week. It's Shark Week. I, I don't know. I just, I didn't, I haven't moved much. Did you go to the Cheesecake Factory? No. Did you go to Olive Garden? No. Did you stop at Speedway and buy cupcakes and milk? No. Did you buy Chips Ahoy? No. Are you hoarding Doritos that I'm not aware of? I would like to, but no. <laughs> Doritos actually don't sound so bad. But no, um, no, if not, you're, you're doing okay. Yeah, I've done everything right. Just have not been very active and... Yeah, I'm a little swollen. I can't even get my rings off my... I can't even move them off my fingers. Yeah. Um, Drink water. Yeah. Sounds backwards, so, but it'll help you. We're going to get through the day. Yeah. I hope you have a great day today. <laughs> that hurt. Uh, well, for me, I was 337 last week, and this morning I was 337. Well, I was actually 336.8 last week, and I was 337 this morning, so I went up that little titch. But that's okay. I mean, it is what it is. I didn't go crazy or nothing. Right. Um, I have been less active for my back and everything. I did go see the doctor and I have my A1C done and it's creeped up to eight. And I'm not real happy about that. Um, we had a little discussion about, you know, of course, everything from foods to right. stress to sleep to activity. And I am on the low end of my activity, obviously, with my back and yes. uh, the high end of stress. And the low end of getting sleep, that's good, good, regular, long sleep. So he's saying, you know, there's a lot of factors involved in, in that, not just the food you eat. And I'm pretty basic when it comes to food. So yeah. I don't know. I'm not trying. I'm just trying to not get down on myself or get down, you know, yeah, seeing the numbers. Both of us are in that same boat right now. It's called real life. And you get the good weeks and the bad weeks and the good months and the bad months. Mm -hmm. And uh, at this point, I'm, I'm not feeling like you know, health side of things that I'm on at the 90% range at this point. Uh, I've seen physical therapists for over a month. And the next step is to see what is it, an orthopedic? Orthopedic doctor. Orthopedic doctor. They might do some are already made. shots. So they might do, I don't know, a couple different see options. See what options are out there beyond surgery. Beyond surgery before I go to that next step. And uh, the other thing is the doctor had recommended I see chiropractic and massage therapeutic for massage. therapeutic for that one pinchy area of my back so um we're checking into that stacy was looking into it for me mm -hmm. and see if we can um get an appointment in with one or two of the people in the area and see you know yeah. get some good reviews and go see if they can help me with that a little bit i'm not sure uh, I'm open for it. I'm game. I'm wanting to try everything I can before I have to be in a surgery type of option. And then I yes. still want two, three opinions because <laughs> I just, you know, that's permanent stuff when it you is. start getting in there with a knife. So, but yeah, all those pinching and bulging and degenerative disc things and spinal stenosis and, you know, lots of big words that I Google just mean I hurt. to learn. Yeah, yeah, I know that part of it. I know the hurt part. The good thing is, and I'm going to say it out loud because I'm feeling pretty confident, but I haven't fallen in a month. So that's really good. No, no, things are solid. I'm, yeah. I've been standing strong. Uh, I definitely have been using the little walking cane thing. That helps. Yeah. Um, and, and I feel a little silly sometimes, like just working in the garage. I grab that to give me that extra. But maybe that's what's helping. I'm not sure. I'm doing the exercises and stuff. Yes. But, uh. Yeah, we'll keep this one short because Stacy's got to fly out the door. But uh, we just thought we would check in with you all and tell you what's going on. Uh, we did a little cookout yesterday. It was kind of nice. We made some yeah. hamburger patties, had a couple of uh, beef Kirkland hot dog franks. We used the Aunt Millie's, the low-carb bun, so you could actually yeah. kind of feel like you were having. One. Yeah, we haven't had a cookout, gosh, 
since last summer. Yeah. So it was kind of nice to be able to have, you know, just what you felt like was a real hot dog, even though you used the carb bun. Um, not something we rely on and lean on every day, but uh, it was it was really nice to just have a live in the wild side. Yeah, that was our <laughs> that was our wild side. And then Stacy got um, a little thing. I'll try and find a picture. I'll take a picture and put it in. It's a uh, it's a keto cracker, and oh, yeah. they're from Costco. Yes, and they're very good tasting. You just have to portion it out because you you mm-hmm. know five little five crackers, crackers or four, four carbs. net carbs um yeah. it's a very nutty um cracker which flavorful for it's you it's all up my alley yeah. sunflowers uh, meats um almonds it's kind of a ground up thing coconut but it gives you a crunch and it yeah. gives you a good taste it gives and, me a really nice crunch and you could put a small little lunchy bag with the, i don't know you just double it like to eight or ten or something or you just yeah. take like five or six. I do five and then I drink water. Oh, okay. Well, I've seen her do the little lunch bags and then uh, take those to work. And I'm glad that she's doing something on a break or a snack. Yeah. Getting some food in you is good. Yes. You know, not always. You can going, have my laptop. I oh, can't I'll take your laptop. Left arm. I'll take it. But I have to go. Stacy's going to leave and I'll let you guys all go too. I hope you're having a great week and a great month. And we're coming into August. So hope everybody does really well with their plan and whatever path they're on. I'm still trying to lean away from the chicken. I've added in that beef yeah. hot dog stuff and some ground beefs and things like that. Give me a kiss. Love Have you. A great Bye, day. guys. All right. I'll, well, we will talk to you all soon. And uh, I'm looking into something that I would be curious if other people have tried or are using. Um, I've been looking into a continuous sugar monitor like the Dexcom 6 or I think the 7 is coming out soon too and it's smaller even. Um, I'm not sure if insurance is going to cover it or not. I might have to out of pocket that one. Um, I'm just curious to see it because I'd like to know what the sugar is real time through the phone or through the apps or however it works. Uh, There's another one called the Freestyle Libre. I'm probably saying it wrong. Uh, That's also a continuous sugar monitor. It goes on like a little patch. It reminds me of those... uh, patches you use when you're trying to quit smoking or something but but that little sensor will give you real-time activity supposedly of your blood sugars i'd be real curious to that because it would be nice to do some testing like hey i'm going to have my black coffee which i know doesn't affect me and i'm going to eat a piece of that aunt millie's toast which is like one carb or something but i want to see where does that put me right when I eat it or two hours later. And I can always do it with the finger pricks, but uh, it'd just be really neat to have that continuous. And when I talked to the doctor, he was agreeing that that might be something to look into, uh, just more of a thing with checking with insurance. So I've got to get out the card, flip it over, call the 800 number and start giving them the information and see what, if any, that they do or don't cover. Um, I actually want to ask them again too about uh, my CPAP stuff. I'm kind of ready to get a different CPAP. I'd love to get a travel CPAP, uh, a little ResMed or a Dream Machine or something from, uh, I forget who makes it, Panasonic. I know they had a recall recently too, but I'm sure they've got a resolve for that too. But um, I'd like to get a travel CPAP. I think that'd be great for camping and then using it in the van when we camp and stuff. Um, I just have a feeling, again, that's going to be an out-of-pocket expense. So I just have to sell off some stuff or a guitar or something but it would be nice to have a CPAP this big versus this big you know for traveling and things like that so I'm um, real curious if uh, any of you guys out there have used one of the continuous sugar monitors or maybe one of the travel CPAPs pros and cons let me know down in the description and uh, Stacy has you know I, I think the cortisone is going to really help her with the momentum uh, the movement and uh, and the pain that she experiences but I guess before the cortisone, they do a lot of shots and then they do some contrast shots uh, that allow them to see where they're going with the x-ray. Because when they put the cortisone in, they use an x-ray machine to be very accurate and get it in the right spots and things like that. And long story short, apparently all those shots, because she's got pokes all over her, uh, really not the most fun and pleasant and the pain that she's experiencing isn't from the cortisone, she said. It's from all the, the poking that they did and the prodding that they did to get 
uh, the x-rays and get the cortisone injected in the right areas. Now this should give her a couple months of relief hopefully and that's that's the goal and the plan on this but the next you know 24 36 hours might be a little rough with healing it up you know from all the shots so i'm praying for her and thinking about her and obviously last night i kept she sleeps and she puts her arms above her head and every time she does she says put my arms down so i basically stayed up most of the night and just fixed her arms because she kept doing that and just trying to help her keep her arms down and at one point I just laid my hand over her arm <laughs> on her chest to to help help keep her arm down so and she had really restless legs last night her her knees kept going up so I, I think it's just because she's sleeping in a weird position on her back instead of on her side because her shoulder so uh, I'm not sure exactly but uh, I'm just hoping that she does better and that as the day goes on and she moves and hopefully she'll drink water which is important and uh, try and make her feel better and have her feeling good so that uh, she could just have better days tomorrow. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great weekend and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.